Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to cover six tips that will help you find your first bug in a bug bounty program. And number one is one that I really struggle with, and that is knowing when to give up. Sometimes I can spend an entire day, five, six, seven, eight hours working on just getting one exploit to work, and then at the end of the day, it still does not work, and then you just feel deflated. So I personally try to set a time limit of three hours on an exploit if I think it's there and I just keep trying and I'm hammering away and nothing is working. And then I have to set a time limit of three hours and then move on. So that way I don't waste my entire day on something that the web application may not be vulnerable to. So know when to give up is number one. And since you're looking for your first bug, I would say look for something easy. So start out with a cross-site scripting. These seem to be everywhere. Cross-site scripting is really not that hard to find. If you just put in the time learning it really well and how to break out of HTML tags, then you will be able to find cross-site scripting. They don't pay a lot, usually, sometimes they do, but they will be bugs that you can find right out the gate as a beginner. And kind of a sub point to that, number three, is a look for iDoors. Learn iDoors really well. They're usually going to pay a little more, and they are going to be a little easier to find. And if you're wondering what an iDoor is, I have a whole section on those in my beginner bug bounty course. So you can go and check that out and learn about iDoors and how to find them. But also, when you find an iDoor, make sure to make a list of all the endpoints that you can check and then just go through those endpoints and look for iDoors with a list or every place that you think iDoors might exist. And number four, when you are new and you're trying to learn something, when you learn something or you go and study, go and look for whatever that specific thing is. It's going to be fresh in your mind. You're going to be more likely to notice where this specific vulnerability is that you have just been studying for, and it's going to help ingrain it in your brain. So number four is look for bugs that you've just got done studying for. You're going to be more likely to find them, and it's going to be a lot easier for you to remember Remember what is going on when you're thinking about it for several hours at a time trying to find that specific vulnerability. And number five is one that I struggled with and sometimes still struggle with and that is staying in scope. Some bug bounty programs have the weirdest scope where it's like here's the main page but here's a directory and it is off limits. This directory is off limits but this other directory it's okay to be inside of. So make sure you stay in scope because if you find a bug outside of scope, usually those who are running the program are not very happy about it. And you need to make sure you stay inside the, the program scope. It is going to be the best thing for you and will ease your nerves. And now I'm going to show you what I think is probably one of the most helpful things for you since you've stuck around to the end of the video. And that is how to find the right programs. So let's go over to Hacker One, And this works with Bug Crowd or Integrity as well you can come over to their directory look for their programs and then look for the launch date this is going to be really important because these newer programs are going to be the ones that have been searched for and looked through the least amount and then when you're looking through these programs also look for programs that are unpaid because the people who do bug bounty for a living are going to be going to the paid programs and these new ones are going to have the least amount of traffic so far like zero reports and it was this one it was just put out and so you could go, if it's something you're interested in, look through that program, see if it's one that's interesting to you. I personally don't look at any targets that I don't know anything about. So if I get into like a cryptocurrency one, I usually just avoid those or some kind of banking. I just avoid those programs altogether. Look through programs where you're already familiar with their product and you have an idea of how the web application is working and then look for the newest of that version and then look for those that have unpaid programs and this is really gonna help you in finding that first bug. So if you have found a vulnerability, let me know down in the comments what it was. I'm curious to know. Thanks for watching.